Alright guys, I just want to show you this set, um, I've had a lot of success with it this season, and I've, I've never seen another video on YouTube showing you how to make this set, so, I hope you'll learn from it, and maybe profit from it, um, I'm not the inventor of it, but, I just want to show it to you, um, I just caught the third coyote out of this location using just this two scat set, our trap of choice is going to be the, uh, Duke 550, Offset Pro Series. I've been using these straps quite extensively this season and I've been impressed. So um, we're just going to take our little wire brush and clean off the jaws after this last coyote catch. Don't want any mud or anything built up on the jaws because that can damage the coyote's paw in any uh, future catch. So out here in the night latch, sometimes we'll get built up with mud, so we'll take my brush and clean that out. Set the night latch. We've got a nice level pan. So we're, we just got the stump that's been embedded in this road. I'm going to use it for backing. Remember guys, keep your backing low, five inches or less, to get a full commitment by that coyote. You start using the big stuff, they're going to sand further back, you're going to have a lot more refusals. So, we're going to measure out from about the end of your middle finger to the end of your thumb. It's about nine inches. So, we're going to dig out a trap bag bed just big enough for the trap to sit into. I'm going to make it kind of cereal bowl shaped. So, that the only thing touching. The ground will be the jaws and the levers. Underneath will be a total void. I'll dig out a, a notch in the bottom or a chain to sit in. We've got a good uh, heat treated earth anchor driver from Southern Snares from their uh, new performance trapping gear series. Here, we've got such hard ground that we can easily hold these coyotes with a foot of chain on a MB Super Stick. I lock it on chain, holds up a lot better and longer than cable does. You don't have to drive it in all the way. With cable, you gotta have the stub sticking out that's a pain in the rear. But with chain, it's not like that. We've got a nice little notch we can set our chain down into. I have to wiggle this trap right down there in that bed. And that trap, guys, is virtually bedded right there. No wiggle. There's a little wiggle on the levers, but that's it. I use landscaping fabric for my paint covers. Wax paper is great. Anything like that. I don't use screen because the sand can go right through it. Got my whisk broom. Find the pan. Make a little 
hole in the middle of your hand for the pan to go in. You just pack down around it. This ground is hard, so you don't want them to come walk up to your set and hit soft dirt. So pack that down really hard. They come in, hit a bunch of real loose dirt, it'll give them a tendency to dig. So like that, make sure that's really hard right there. So I'm gonna take the dirt from the surrounding area, some this dry stuff. Blend it in, Ted. Don't want any rocks on it. You can take uh, small dirt clods, mud clumps, and I'll put it right there on top of the dog to keep them from stepping there so that when the trap fires, it doesn't flip their paw off the pan and out of the jaws, so I'll take a few, we'll put it right here as a loose jaw guide kind of make them walk in and out I want this area at a 45 degree angle coming into the set, I want that totally clear because they normally approach a set from 45 degree angle so now pop my gloves off open my bait lure bag and I've got Bobcat scat, which I seem to be pretty low on. Take one piece, measure back about nine, I'll put it off to one side a little bit. And uh, we don't we really only have a few crumbs left, but that coyotes don't care. Put that right there on the other side of the jaw. I've got just a tiny bit of uh, one of wildlife control bobcat urine left. We'll put a little on each scat, freshen it up, and then let's see. Uh, you can use just urine, but I like to add the gland too. Um, there's fox frenzy. I need silent stalker, and here it is. Silent oh, stalker for Mark June's lures. Real strong cat gland. Been having a lot of success with it this year. And I put it just a little bit uh, on the backing between the two pieces of scat. That guy will come in, check out one piece, of scat, uh, one pile of scat, move over, check the other pile, be checking out your gland right there. As much as he's moving around them with your little jaw guides here, it's hard to miss them. So. Um. I've been having a lot of luck with this set this year. Um, try it out. I hope it'll work for you. And uh, see y'all down the line, guys. All right, guys. We got another windy day out here in Texas. If you can hear me. But we got cat number four at this location. We're about to get to scat location. I was just telling you out in episode uh, 10, I believe. Uh, or just in case um, it was from the video two scat set video same one I showed you uh, in that video how to how to make the two scat set we got a coyote big 550 same attractions as you saw you know the bob, two piles of wildcat scat the wildcat urine from one of wildlife control bait and lure and the, the silent stalker from Mark June's lures fourth coyote for this location I'm really liking the way it's producing um, pretty dark coyote uh, I'm judging it's a male this is us uh, this is the only one that has been toe caught this year that hasn't been blocked off when they were caught. So, um, he left us some Texas roses. So, we'll be taking them, using them on down the line some other place. We're just going to put the city back on the wall. But this is coyote number four for this location. That Duke 550 is not letting him go. So, we'll get you some pictures and, uh, put it back exactly like it was. If they're lacking one kind of set, you're catching them consistently at the same location for that set, don't change it up. I changed it up. I didn't catch anything. I put it back exactly like I they were liking it before. Boom! I got them. So, just uh, give them what they like.